Welcome back to She's Crafted to Thrive podcast. I am so excited that you're here. This episode is the last of season two, and I wanted to share this tool and this conversation with you because during the summer months, if you're in the summer months listening to this, sometimes we are struggling a bit with our content and our collaborations and connecting, especially this year, you know, after being kind of locked up for most of us for the last year and a half because of the pandemic, we're trying to get out and about and connect with people and all of that jazz and I wanted to give you a tool that I have kind of been researching. Some of the girls within my community have been using it as well and has seen some great results in really making intentional connections and making some really great efforts in growing their Instagram organically without ads and having some good collaborative marketing going on. So this episode is featuring a tool and a conversation with an amazing woman. She is the community partnership and marketing manager over at Amp Jar. Her name is Kimberly, and she is a fellow um, chronic illness warrior, which is another reason why I was just so privileged that we are connected. There's a lot behind that story. It's pretty cool, but I'll have to tell you guys that at another time. But what I love about this conversation is that we are talking about how to nurture yourself and your business, like how to nurture yourself and your business and how to work smarter, not harder, be very intentional in growing your business sustainably and getting shouted out by other brands that you align with, that you feel authentically connected to as a brand in your business and do it effectively in a way that you know that what you put out there, you're going to receive back. And that's what I love about this tool called Amp Jar. I wanted to get this out here to you guys for the summer to test out, especially because right now they're offering this amazing program free until August. And so I wanted you guys at least to get in there and have the founding member entry point, if you will, and check out the show notes to get the special link that I have for you guys as well. And you will get a replay of this actual video because we actually did this as a webinar. And what I'm going to do now or what you're about to hear is the recording of that webinar where we have this conversation about collaborative marketing. All right, you guys. So be sure to stay tuned. There are a lot of gems here, practical tips, and some really important things to keep in mind as you grow your business organically using social media. Welcome to She's Crafted to Thrive. I'm your host, Nikita Williams. And this show is for all the ladies who are making and creating things that they love. You will hear conversations about the real everyday struggles of juggling life and business while trying to maintain passion and harmony. As women, we have the skill of getting things done, but sometimes we'll get in our own way. It's here where you'll see that you're not alone. You'll discover that success does not mean perfection. Fear and negative thoughts and challenges are all a part of the journey. And on this podcast, you'll find the inspiration and tools you need to have a life and business that thrives. Oh, I am so excited to be here. I hate to say this, but finally (laughs) with with Kimberly, how are you? I'm doing so good. How are you? So, so good. So I know that this topic about, you know, working well with life happening. It's such a passionate place for me. All, you know, all my ladies who follow me know this is a big deal for me, making sure that we're building a business that's sustainable and profitable at the same time. And also feels really good, you know, so that we're not feeling stressed out. And Kimberly is from Amp Jar. Please like tell us first, like before we jump into how we can work through our life hurdles and still build a brand I'd love for you to just, you know, do a quick intro of who you are. Yeah. So I'm Kimberly and I am head of community partnerships for Amchar. I am based in San Diego and I was so excited to get on this call with you and just both of us to be able to collaborate because I resonate so much with your business. I was diagnosed with Lyme disease two years ago, and I also have my own business and just the journey of fighting for my life and having like, you know, survival skills. I'm also in the midst of, you know, growing my business. And so there's so many techniques and things that I had to learn along the way. And 
you know, you're not really ever grateful for what's happening to you, but so much virtue comes out of the journey and just learning to turn your trials into triumphs has been like an awakening for me. So I'm so happy that we get to talk about this subject. Yeah, me too. And I'm so like, it's really hard to find businesses that are so open to allowing this conversation to happen first. Like I felt like this is like powerful in itself. So I really appreciate you coming and giving us some feedback on, you know, your journey and also the company, but most importantly, just that no one's alone. Like everyone, me too. Like that, that saying of me too, that we all are going through things. We just never know what someone's going through. Like we just never know. And being able to speak to that and to show that it's okay and that you can still live a life and be successful and be happy while going through, you know, and overcoming those challenges that we all experience. And I think this topic that we were talking about for this webinar about how to work through conditions or life hurdles and still build a brand is first and foremost, I always say it's, you have to be okay with stepping into your story, you know, stepping into part of who you are and part of the lessons that you've learned. Like you mentioned, even through this, I know for myself, I don't know how resilient I would be today if it weren't for some of the challenges that I've gone through in my own health. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I think also just knowing how to like nurture yourself through building your business is so incredibly important. And before I was diagnosed, I mean, I was working just nonstop. And I, I, when I look back, I realized like the nights I was staying up till midnight or waking up at five in the morning and just driving myself to the wall was not healthy. And I think that right now I've really realized like nurturing myself first is really what's going to help me grow my business. And I think just knowing your boundaries is so incredibly important when it comes to building your business. I mean, you're the CEO. So, you know, the health of a business starts with the CEO. And so I think that that's super important of making sure you take care of yourself first before building your business and nurturing that. Yeah. 100%. I could have said it better myself. Like, you know, our businesses are a reflection of our life in a lot of different ways and how we live our own lives, how we take care of our own selves is a reflection of how our business really is going to be like how sustainable, how profitable, how easy will it for other people to step into whatever our mission and our values are. And so learning those boundaries, learning how to say no with ourselves even, right? Because we have things going on in business. We're like, you know what? I need to stay up until whatever. I need to say yes to all of these things that might bring in money and the mindset around I'll be happy after I sacrifice everything now mm-hmm. doesn't really serve a long haul successful life or business, right? Not it, There's no way to nurture that kind of place. You kind of get stuck at some point and, or you burn out and we don't want that. Yeah, it's so true. And, you know, that's why I, I truly love working with Ampchar because they know my condition. They know what I'm fighting. And just that in general takes so much energy. Like I feel like that in itself, I always say is like a full-time job. Like if I'm not working, I'm like counting all my medication or going to doctor's appointments or taking baths and going out, you know, it's like that in itself is just so much like energy and it's really time consuming. And the reason why I love Amchar's uh, team so much is just because my team is always like reminding me and supporting me on my boundaries. I think boundaries is like the biggest thing when it comes to not, you know, stressing yourself out and stress is really the driver for a lot of inflammation. And so anyone who has chronic illness, like you're trying to calm down inflammation, you're trying to get your body into a healing state. And so with Amjar team, you know, most of them are overseas. So our time zones are so different And so they wake up, it's usually around four o'clock my time. So sometimes I'm like, I want to be up at nine o'clock, like still in meetings or talk to them. And so many of my team members like go to bed, like get off (laughs) the computer. Like you need to rest. You need to take care of yourself. So it's so great that my team is just like always reminding me to, you know, put myself first. Yeah. I love that because that kind of leads into like the next point of community, like knowing, having the people in your corner to say to you, you know, one, I'm here with you Two, huddle up, 
take care of those boundaries, take care of yourself. Like, let's get real. Let's hold on a second. You're going a little crazy here. And really helping us to embrace that sustainability. I I can't help, like, I think that's my word in a lot of things that I talk about is like, Building a sustainable business requires people in your corner who get your values of where you are, because without that, you're kind of floundering. You're also in communities that might be pushing you in a different place. And for me and for my community, we are all about building sustainability and stepping into the power of, Mm -hmm. yes, I might have a chronic illness, but that doesn't limit me. That doesn't like put me in the corner. You know, it doesn't put baby in the corner from Greece. (laughs) It allows us to find our own zones of genius, but we do that even better when we're around other like-minded people. And that is an experience that for myself, even in my own personal journey, like a lot of, you know, a lot of people who have been a part of my journey has learned that I have had the most growth because of the community that I've been a part of or the people who have come into my space. So why is community such a big part for you? So I'd say for me personally, you know, chronic illness can just be so isolating just in general. It's so isolating and it's so hard to find people who understand your struggle each day, you know, like life in itself is already hard, you know, working and building businesses is already difficult for anybody. And then when you add on a chronic illness, it's like, you're working double. You feel like, you know, like it's so hard. And I think that building community or having a community around you just is so encouraging. And I think that when you're, especially with your community, I mean, that's like, it's so incredible that it's people who have the same struggles, but it's not a community of like, oh, like poor me. It's like, girl, you've got this. Like, you know, we're all building businesses, you know, like how can I help you and how can you help me? And so I think just surrounding yourself and having a strong alliance of encouraging entrepreneurs is so vital to your business. Yeah. 100%. I can tell you in the, like over the pandemic, I was introduced to some more communities like Amp Jar and other communities that are about just embracing living life with chronic illness and thriving. And it has made such a difference in seeing, oh, maybe their experience is not mine, but I can learn something from them. I can learn Um, maybe something I never even thought of because I've been so stuck in my, like my lane, right. The way that I see the world. And that's something that's really powerful about building a community or being a part of a community is because you get to see different perspectives within your kind of world. Like, I don't feel like if I go into like Amchar or my community or other communities, like my community that I can say something and I'm like, girl, you're crazy. Like you were saying, or, oh, poor thing. Like, I don't feel that way because we've all experienced it, right? Nobody's going to say that we've all experienced it. You know, I think that giving yourself grace and having community of people who also like know that grace to give, but it's just such a powerful weapon to have a community around you. And I think that it's just a better way to work smarter and not harder. Building a business takes a village, you know, and you can try to do it as much as you can on your own. But when it comes to a certain point, you're going to need to find people who are going to help you build your business. And that like, again, goes back to (laughs) sustainability, right? Like, especially because we have limited spoons. So the chronic illness community, a lot of us use the term spoons to describe how much energy we have. So if anyone's listening or watching is like, what are you talking about spoons? Spoons, literally, <laughs> it's kind of like an example of what we use to calculate our energy levels. And when you're building a business, like building a business by itself is already a stressor. <laughs> it's already a lot, right? There's a lot of energy in mind, brain, and all of that kind of stuff. And for those who live with chronic illness, One of the main complaints is brain fog. One of the main complaints is low energy. One of the main complaints is feeling anxiety a little bit more, especially when we're having chronic flares or things like that. And so when it comes to marketing our business, which is probably the most stressful part of our businesses, it's so important to work smarter than harder and doing that within a community and building your brand at the same time. And so I think that's what Amp Jar is so excellent at. That's part of the reason like 
why I was, you know, I've been like eyeing and, you know, spying on Amchar for a while. And it was really cool when some of my girls from my community said, hey, we're trying out. We love to know what you think. And then we decided to do this. And I was like, yeah, this is great because of the fact that it feels so organic and it is like real talk, real life, real community, real like working smarter. And so I'd love for you to share with us a little bit more about Amp Jar and the community and the platform and how it works and all of that. Jazz. So I'm going to let you kind of take it from here. Yeah, absolutely. So with Amp Jar, it's all about reaching more of your dream customers every day. So we believe that our model of karmic marketing is incredibly effective. It's brands and companies working together to reach new customers. And most of the time with classic marketing nowadays is everyone's spending their dollars towards Facebook and Google, which can bring results if you have the right strategy, you have algorithms, and you have the budget to reach new customers. But here at Amshire, we truly believe that there is a strong model called collaborative karmic marketing. So that's to attract the attention of new customers who have already built a trusted relationship, which With Crafted to Thrive, you guys have built such a strong alliance of entrepreneurs. And so I love that. So it's all about leveraging each other's communities, both parties getting to reap the benefits from it. So you can create such a synergistic relationship, whether you're a service provider or a product-based brand, and you can seamlessly integrate what you're offering with another company in a fair and equitable way to target the same audience and reach new customers. So what is karmic marketing? With karmic marketing, it's all about collaborations. And here you can see with traditional collaborations, it can be hard to set up, right? Mm -hmm. (laughs) Um, And with karmic marketing, we like to say it's all about to give a blessing is to receive a blessing. So it's an extension of collaborative marketing. So creating value for other brands and not knowing when or how you're going to get it, but just knowing the cycle of cause and effect that it will bring a harvest in a really powerful way, which is really exciting just because in general with marketing, it's all about A and B testing. So you get to test out your KPIs at such a low cost while just creating and cultivating new relationships. So here the state of collaborations in general, it can be really hard to set up, you know, with negotiations. I know for my business personally, when I'd reach out to brands like via DM on Instagram, there's, you know, you're waiting for them to open it and respond. And then you go to email and there's so many emails back and forth that it's just really time consuming. The collaborations can be really broad, the diverse in their outcomes, different people with different goals can bring a hit or miss. So you just never know what the outcome is truly going to be. But with karmic marketing, it's always between people with shared goals. So everyone who's on our platform really has the same goal of wanting to shout out, wanting to be encouraging, wanting to um, promote each other to help build up a bigger community. So your focus is on helping others and yourself in a responsible way, giving back value for doing things for others. And you can do it in a loose way, or you can do it right down to the decimal with guaranteed results. So it's really up to you on how you want to collaborate. And then relationships can continue, but actions can be short and simple to execute. So here we have two different types of ads. And the one on the left is from Lacoste and it's a betting collection and they are the ones that are promoting themselves. So they're saying, Hey, look at us. We're guessing and thinking that you would be interested in us. The one on the right is from electric confetti. And this to me feels so much more organic because electric confetti is saying, Who knew this amazing cactus garden was only three hours away from Melbourne? Definitely going on our list to places to visit. So this was showing their customers that they're not only just selling to them, but they're saying, you guys have been following us for quite some time. And we know that you would be interested in this cactus garden because it aligns with our company. So to me, the example I kind of give is like, If you're walking down the street and you see a billboard that says, we sell the best lipstick in the world, you're going to be curious, you know, you're like, okay, like I might want to try that, but like, you know, it's them saying it from their own mouth. But if you had your best friend come to you and say, I have this lipstick and it is the best lipstick in the world. Like you already know that your girlfriend like knows your style and you already have that trusted relationship with her. So to me, I feel like you would choose and, and believe your best friend over a billboard that says, you know, we're the best. Yeah, totally. world. <laughs> so I just feel like it's a really just authentic way to collaborate with brands. And it's nice just to just share valuable interests together. 
So here is a brand called LP and they are shouting out another brand called Hello Hottie. So they're saying, I'm already wearing one Hello Hottie collective jumper today, but maybe I need another one. So if you look here, you can see the views. There was 523 views. There was 108 clicks. The counts reached were 523. So just from one single shout out, she had 523 views seeing Hello Hottie and 108 clicks. So 108 new customers went to Hello Hottie's Instagram and was checking them out. To me, that's just incredible traffic that she gained instantly just by one shout out. So she truly sees that they picked a brand that their customers identified with, which I think is amazing. Okay. So this is a really cool example here. So this is Whimsy and Row. And in the beginning of COVID, this brand decided to shout out all of their friends on their website and they all did a 20% discount. And they also gave 5% to Feeding America. And they just built such a strong alliance between their friends saying, we're coming together. We want to not only for you to shop us, but we want you to shop our friends as well too. This is something that they did on their website, but with collaborative marketing, you can do it on Instagram. You can do it through emails. You can do it through website. Um, But it's just really building again, like the alliance of this is our community and we all want to encourage each other and we all want to grow. So this is another really cool example. So this is an email and um, this email is from a vegan chocolate bar. And this is just a great way for companies who have the same ethos as you, for you to shout out. So here on this vegan chocolate bar, they said, what are we jamming on? So they built in a company of salt gypsy, which is something that they wear. It's a surfwear label. They put in something that they love to eat, that they feel like their customers would also love to eat at this Japanese cafe. They were saying visit an exhibition and all kinds of love, and then even just like books and articles for them to read. So it's again, like with emails, it's not just sell, sell, sell. It's like, Hey, I know my customers. These are the community and brands that we love that we feel like we all vibe together. Like you should check them out too. And, you know, I think even with your community, Nikita, like it's just so important to stay strong, encourage each other. And, and, you know, there's so many different ways to work together, but I would love to hear like, what are some of the like different businesses that you have in your community? Well, you know, what I love about our community is that chronic illness is not partial. Like it's everyone, you know, it doesn't matter where you fall, even though my community happens to be a lot of creatives because I love working with creatives. So I tend to attract them, but they're yeah. anywhere between photographers to jewelry makers, to candle makers, to moms with kids who's doing like custom pieces to graphic designers. Like there's just so many different people. <laughs> like there's so many things, but yeah. I think the biggest the commonality, honestly, is like, you know, our community comes together to feel that sense of encouragement and also feel motivated, right? To feel like, you know what, even though today might be a hard day or this last hour was really tough, I know I can go into this community no matter what I'm working for and they're going to cheer me on. So that's, you know, pretty much our tribe. (laughs) Yeah. And it's amazing, you know, especially with um, email or shout outs or even on the website, it's like someone who's into a candle, it's, it's not competing with someone who owns a jewelry company or competing with someone who has a fashion brand. It's like, you know, as like, we all have like our top favorite brands that we love. And, you know, I think that there's just such a synergistic way to collaborate together, to market each other and just think outside of the box. And and I think that this email is a really great way to do that. So how to build your community. So you have two options. It's building over time, which for me, before me and my sister knew about Ampjar and and putting our um, business on there, it took us years to build our community. And, you know, now I'd say we do have a strong community, but once we joined Amchar, it was like instantly, we were just a part of these tiny little micro communities, like all around globally. And we saw just incredible traffic coming to our website. And we were like, dang, like, where was this platform like six years ago? (laughs) Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, you know, building over time or joining something and, you know, whether it's a Facebook group or, you know, a platform like Amchar or even just like in person, it's so important to build like a strong community to get the word out there. You know, brand awareness is so important because it's the first step of conversions and that's what we're all here for in general. 
So building over time, share, 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 think of your communities, give help to others, tag, lift, and sit back. So joining something, find a community that is ready to go. So finding a community like Amchar's, you know, it's just so profitable and valuable from the beginning because instantly, you know, the day that you sign on, you can shout out a brand and you can see the next day that someone will shout out you as well too. Amchar creates exposure and targeted traffic for brands in exchange for shouting out others and non-competing brands. So why Amchar is so beneficial is because we create exposure to just to lift brands up, but you know, one, it gains followers Two, it targets the right type of customers. So you're not just off looking at, you know, customers that are like for a bakery, you know, when you are, you know, a graphic designer or even like making candles, like it's specific targeted customers that your brand is looking for. So members shout each other out through stories, emails, and post checkouts. When they do, they earn karma credits. So having credits means other brands can then start to shout you out. So the moment that you shout out a brand, you instantly get karma credits, which allows other brands to shout you out. So it's pretty fun. Again, we have tons of examples of just metrics from people shouting someone out. So you can see here that lamb chop socks were shouted out by this brand. There was 44 people taking action from this shout out, which for one shout out, having 44 people come to your exactly. site, like, you know, these aren't like skyrocketed numbers, but you know, I will take 44 people coming to my store any day. Yeah. And I think about just Real quick, if you're doing a brand partnership, you usually are in a brand partnership for like three months and they're paying you or you're paying them. And it's because they don't necessarily always get that amount of feedback or that much engagement initially because they need to see it over a course of time. But because of the community aspect of Amstar, which is why I love it, is that it's already built in. So you're going to get that kind of what would take you by yourself three months. You get that almost instantly because of the type of the community karma around you sharing that post. I just wanted to throw that in. I think it's amazing also because it's like just the start of building relationship. I know with my own brand being on Amchar, like there's been so many conversations and DMs after we've done these shout outs that it's like, oh my gosh, like we actually like really like you guys. Like how can we further this? And, and, you know, so I ha definitely have some of my favorites that I love to shout out and just some brands I actually would say like we're friends now. And so it's more than just doing business. It really is about like community and, and finding other entrepreneurs who have stories because everyone has a story, you know, everyone has a story of why they started their business. And I just think that that's just even exciting on a personal note as well too. Yeah. I've totally experienced the same thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's really exciting. And also even, you know, from a, a business standpoint, I feel like as a small business, you know, you're so aware and so frugal of every, you know, dollar that you spend, like you are on a tight budget. And sometimes it's just not reasonable to ever even like hire an agency to me, like I've never hired an agency. And I feel like that's so scary when you're first starting out because it's like, can I really trust you? Like, you yeah. know, you see some stuff over time, maybe in three months, but I feel like with Amshar, you instantly see results, you know, and you know, it's so low cost. It's, it's low risk. You're signing on, you know, if you shout out 12 people, you get the membership for free, you're building this community and, you know, you get to see like new traffic without spending anything. So this is just something that I personally, it was a game changer for my business. So this here, you can see when you first sign onto the platform, this is where you can build out your brand profile, which to me was so fun because it's like this profile that you're building out almost like, to me, it feels like a dating app. Like you see this gap, <laughs> all of these brands and you get to scroll through the gallery and it's, all, I feel like it's like a dating app. Like, who am I going to match with? <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's super fun. So once you build out your profile, this is the gallery here. You can pick brands who you feel like aligns with your business. So how to make karmic marketing really work for you. Every time you share should be a positive for you. So every time you share, you definitely should see a return. And that's what we do here at Amchar is making sure that, you know, if you have like 10,000 followers and you your share reaches a thousand people and you get a hundred clicks. We want to make sure that you get a thousand people to reach your brand and you get a hundred clicks. So our mission is to make sure that you're consistently getting traffic to your brand. 
So sharing needs to feel natural. So I think that's what's so fun about the gallery is you can pick out brands yourself that you truly believe will align and that your customers will like. So that's always fun. And sharing needs to have be a value added to your customers. So again, just not just shouting out any brand that you're customers are going to be like, that does not like, how does that align? You know, you get to really know the voice and the tone of your customers and get to share with them really fun brands and just start somewhere. I mean, getting into a community is so incredibly important and everyone needs to start somewhere. So just to recap, much less about agreements and formalities. Action should always feel positive and add value, feel natural and organic. Start with your own community or tap into one. Don't stress the ROI. This is different. Find the right level that works for you. That is it. We're so excited to, you know, work with Crafted to Thrive. And we think that your community is just so powerful and and we'd love to have you guys. Yeah. And I feel like for the app, because I'm using the app, obviously, (laughs) one of the really amazing things that I feel like that you talked about in the slide deck, which is that tapping into your branding to like align with your values and what you want. So as a coach myself, like I'm not creating necessarily like jewelry and things like that, but there are a lot of amazing creative people on Ampjar. And so what I love about it is that they're creating content too. That's not just about their products. That's not just about things. You know, I've found some really great collaborations so far in the community where they are product-based businesses and some of the content that they're putting out there is just so inspiring. And those kind of posts are things that you can share to create that karma, right? And I think it's really cool because sometimes we can do that naturally on our own. I think this is the power of Ampjar. You might find that on your own and be like, oh, I want to share it. And it's like, that's great that you are inspired and want to share that. But it's even better, like, let's just be real when someone's like, oh, well, because you shared it, you know that you're going to get that same kind of engagement back on something that you took your time and effort to produce and make other people are going to see that too. And I think that to me is a super way to work smarter than, you know, harder, because it's like, if you're going to spend time shouting out people and doing all of that, it would be really amazing to have that same thing done for you because you work just as hard. And I think that's a really amazing part of Amshar. I can say for myself, like the last month, definitely me being consistent in doing the shout out, I have definitely seen the increase and also had amazing conversations and opportunities to potentially do like collaborations outside of that shout out, which that in itself is hard to do when it's just you. Yeah. And I think that's really the ethos of Amjar is we wanted to create a system that is easy, that is seamless. And again, going back to the example of your community and even me personally, it's like, we need these systems. We need things to just be easy and efficient and to help us build our business without having to put in so much effort because we're already fighting something personally. So having just like a strong community and alliance behind us to help grow our business and to reach more people, new customers is, is incredible. And so that's what we truly want to do for our members. Well, I want to say thank you so much for taking the time to hop on and have this amazing conversation and share how Ampjar is, you know, if you're not, you know, you got to try, you got to try it, (laughs) at least try it. And I just really appreciate you, you guys reaching out and creating this collaboration. I know we're so excited too. And we think you guys are doing amazing things. So we'd love to have your community join Ampjar. All right, that's a wrap, ladies. I hope you enjoyed this conversation with Kimberly and I. If you're curious and want to know more about how this app is used and how it works, I'd love for you to go ahead and go to the show notes, go ahead and hit the sign up button just to try it out. I feel like, you know, when we are trying something new, we're kind of hesitant and shy because we're worried it's going to take a lot of time. And this is an app that I feel like doesn't take a lot of time. It actually gives you a lot more time back instead of searching and scrolling to find 
you know, how to share content or people that you really enjoy connecting with or want to connect with, and then not even sure if they're going to see it or if anyone is going to care. And this app really helps you to do that in an effective way and to reach an audience. And it works even better when you take it to the next step by really reaching out and making those conversations and networking and growing. So this is a really powerful tool that I think will help your business to grow. It has helped mine. Mine has grown as far as my Instagram stats like by 35% as far as clicks and things like that. And I only have to post three times a week, you guys, to see that kind of increase of engagement. So, and audience, really, my audience has grown out about that much as well. So if you want more information, go ahead to go to she'scrafted.com to check out some more information about AmpJar and how to sign up. Remember, you have to sign up before August in order to get this a really amazing deal or steal. Really, it's a steal because it's free. (laughs) Anyway, all right. This is the last episode for this season. I hope this tool and just everything that we've talked about this season has been something to uplift you, something to inspire you and empower you to take the reins of your story and your business to the next level and to grow and give yourself some love and some self-compassion and grace on not being perfect at doing all of the things, but just doing what you can when you can. And remember, as always, as I love to end this episode and every show, before I end it, let me say this. We will be back in the fall and I can't wait because I have some new and exciting things just for you and some new exciting things happening in my world that I just don't want to let the cat out of the bag, but you have to come back. Okay, so can't wait for you to do that. Be sure to follow up with some of our last several episodes. If you haven't listened to this whole season, there's over, I think over 15 episodes that you have to catch up on or re-listen to for sure. So in the meantime, remember that yes, 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 ladies, you are crafted. Literally, you are uniquely made to thrive. And I cannot wait to see you in the fall.